from 13 WREX, live in HD. This is 13 News at 10, your news leader. Deadly shooting, new disturbing details about what happened to a woman tonight at Fairgrounds Valley. Secure connection, what you need to know before you head out and shop on public Wi-Fi this weekend. The advice that could prevent you from being a victim. And 12 hours of salvation. We take a look at your generous donations to the state line families in need this Christmas. Good evening and welcome to 13 News at 10. I'm Christine Crowley. And I'm Sean Mozzarello. We begin tonight with continuing coverage of a deadly shooting at Fairgrounds Valley. Rockford police say a woman was shot to death inside an apartment there tonight. There were children at home at the time. Around 4 o'clock, officers responded to the housing complex. The apartment was on Tanner Court. The first officers there found a woman who'd been shot. She's pronounced dead at the scene. Officers say four children under the age of 10 were inside the house when the shooting happened. There is no suspect information available tonight. The coroner's office has not identified the victim yet either. They're expected to do that tomorrow once the autopsy is done. Fairgrounds Valley has been in the news a lot lately. There's a proposal to rebuild portions of it on South Newtown Drive. The development proposal stems from both sides, the controversy does, stems from both sides having different views of what's best for public housing residents in the city. Now, the head of the Rockford Housing Authority, Ron Kluwer, says, controversy aside, this is a